Have you ever looked at a map of airplane routes and wondered, why are they curved? After all, the shortest distance between two points is a straight line, right? This simple question leads us to a fascinating exploration of our planet's shape, atmospheric forces, and the complexities of air travel. On a flat map, those curved paths seem to make no sense. But our world is not flat, it's a sphere. This fundamental fact changes everything about long-distance travel, especially in the air. Imagine stretching a string tight between two points on a globe. That string represents the shortest, most efficient path, a great circle route. These routes are the highways of the sky. Airlines rely on them to save time and fuel. They are the reason why a flight from Los Angeles to Tokyo might take you over the North Pole. The Earth's curvature isn't the only factor shaping flight paths. High above us, powerful rivers of air known as jet streams constantly circle the globe. Think of them as fast-moving conveyor belts of wind. Pilots can significantly reduce flight times by hitching a ride on these jet streams. However, they must also be prepared to navigate around turbulent areas within these powerful air currents. We are naturally accustomed to thinking in two dimensions. It's how we experience the world on a daily basis. But when it comes to long distances, the Earth's curvature becomes impossible to ignore. This is where the concept of the Great Circle Route comes into play. Imagine slicing through the Earth with a plane that passes through both your starting point and your destination. This plane intersects the Earth's surface in a circle. The shortest path between your two points lies along the arc of that circle. This is the essence of a great circle route. It represents the shortest distance between two points on a sphere. On a flat map these routes appear curved, sometimes drastically so. This is because flat maps distort the true distances and relationships between locations, especially over long distances. That's why a flight from New York to London might seem like it's taking a detour north towards the Arctic. In reality, it's following the most efficient path along the Earth's curved surface. Understanding the Great Circle route is fundamental to grasping why airplanes don't fly in straight lines. It's a powerful example of how our three-dimensional reality can defy our two-dimensional intuition. High above the Earth's surface, jet streams, narrow bands of strong winds, race around the planet at speeds reaching over 200 miles per hour. These powerful air currents are generated by the differences in temperature and pressure in the atmosphere. They play a crucial role in shaping weather patterns and influencing flight paths. For pilots, jet streams are a double-edged sword. Flying with the jet stream can significantly reduce flight time and fuel consumption, saving airlines money and reducing emissions. However, flying against it can have the opposite effect, increasing both time and fuel burn. This is why flight times can vary depending on the direction of travel. Pilots carefully study weather patterns and jet stream forecasts before each flight. They use sophisticated software to calculate the most efficient routes, taking advantage of tailwinds and avoiding headwinds whenever possible. This constant dance with the jet stream is a testament to the skill and precision required in modern aviation. While the Earth's shape and jet streams are major factors influencing flight paths, they are not the only ones. Weather plays a significant role, as pilots must constantly avoid storms, turbulence and other hazardous conditions. Geopolitical factors can also come into play. Airspace restrictions over certain countries or regions might force airlines to take longer, more circuitous routes. For example, flights between Europe and Asia often have to navigate around areas of political instability or conflict. Even air traffic control plays a role. With thousands of planes in the air at any given time, air traffic controllers must carefully manage flight paths to ensure safety and prevent collisions. This might involve minor adjustments to altitude or route, adding to the overall complexity of air travel. The next time you glance at a map of flight paths, remember that those curved lines are not arbitrary. They represent a complex interplay of factors, from the Earth's shape and atmospheric forces, to weather patterns and geopolitical considerations. It's a testament to human ingenuity that we've learned to navigate the skies with such precision and efficiency. GAP 3S Technology has revolutionized the way we fly. From advanced navigation systems to real-time weather tracking, modern aviation relies heavily on cutting-edge technology. Pilots use sophisticated software to plan the most efficient routes, taking into account factors like weather, air traffic, and fuel consumption. Innovations in aircraft design have also played a crucial role, with newer planes being more fuel-efficient and capable of longer flights. The integration of artificial intelligence and machine learning is set to further transform the industry, making air travel safer and more efficient. 
as technology continues to evolve, the future of aviation looks incredibly promising. Gap 3 S. The future of air travel is set to be even more exciting. With advancements in technology, we can expect faster, more efficient, and more environmentally friendly flights. Electric and hybrid aircraft are already in development, promising to reduce the carbon footprint of air travel. Supersonic jets could make a comeback, drastically cutting down travel times. Additionally, the concept of urban air mobility with flying taxis and drones is becoming a reality. These innovations will not only change the way we travel, but also how we think about transportation. The sky is truly the limit when it comes to the future of aviation. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more exciting content.